morning, Tuesday the 7th of April. Today's workout is hack it. Such a good word. Um, <laughs> you're going to do 15 minutes of work today on an ascending ladder of high pulls, overhead lunges and dips. So, how this rolls. One high pull, one overhead lunge. So if you step forward on your left leg, that's one, that's fine. And one dip, two high pulls, two overhead lunges, left, right two dips, three high pulls, three overhead lunges, three dips. Keep going up the ladder, okay? Keep going up. So by the end of the 15 minutes, I've not done this yet, so I don't know, but it could be like round 14 or 15, where you've done 15 high pulls, 15 overhead lunges, 15 dips. Um, so if you complete 15 rounds and then get like four high pulls, it would be 15 plus four for your score okay if you get 15 rounds plus your 16 high pulls and one overhead lunge it would be 15 plus 17 reps okay just so you know how to score this let's have a look at what the movements can be so just three movements today the overhead 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 the high pull The weight's going to go between your toes, okay, and it's going to look like this. Okay, make sure that you initiate the movement through your hips and your legs, and then it's immediately followed by the pull, okay? So if you start to feel like you're using like your lower back and using your arms, it's because you're not using your hips and your legs, okay? So back nice and flat. Engage your abs, push with your legs, pull with your arms. Okay, dumbbell. Odd object. Okay, trying to keep your elbows up above. So, depending on the object that you're using, might have to play around with it a wee bit there. My first rep felt a bit funky, second one felt fine. Okay, so that's your high pull. So you can do them with a barbell as well. That'd be a sumo deadlift high pull. Uh, don't worry about it too much. I assume that if you know what that is, then you know how to do it. If not, get back to me on that. Uh, overhead lunges. So with the overhead lunges, you're looking at holding your weight right overhead you step forward, knee comes right down so it touches the ground, and step back. You're welcome to, if you have the space, you're welcome to do these as walking lunges, I don't mind. In the bottom position of the lunge, you're looking at having your knee more or less above your heel, with your whole foot pushed down into the ground. At the back, you're looking at having your hips above your knee and your shoulders above your hip. Okay, try and push through your heel when you go to come back up to standing. And then for the dips, kind of got to play around with this for what surfaces you have. The lower the surface, arguably, the more difficult it is. So if you've got like a high surface, like a kitchen worktop, it could be easier. You could do this with a, a hand on two chairs. Do your dips between the chairs. This is what I've got in here, so I've got this little box. Now, the further away you put your feet, the more difficult it is, the more you bring your feet in, the easier it is. I have no doubt that those dips are going to suck <laughs> very quickly. So, one high pull, one lunge, one dip, two high pulls, two lunges, two dips. Carry on like that and get as far up the ladder as you can. Look forward to seeing how you get on. See you later.